This is a hands-on activity that demonstrates the Doppler effect for sound. You will need to have a tone generator that can be set to a particular frequency. There are many free apps and websites that can generate these tones. Here, we're using a Bluetooth speaker that's paired with a laptop. You also need to have a tone detector that displays the observed frequency. We are using the Firefox app, which is available on both the Android and iOS platforms. You can use whatever app you want. Ensure that the frequency being emitted and observed match each other. To suspend your Bluetooth speaker so that it swings back and forth without spinning, use two anchor points. Here, ours are separated by about 30 centimeters. You can suspend the speaker from anchor points on the ceiling, in a door frame, or on a meter stick supported by retort stands, whatever works for you in your classroom. For the best results, the speaker should be pointing along the swing path. Place your smartphone just past the farthest point in the speaker's swing. You can also place your phone at different locations. The results will be slightly different. The screen on the smartphone shows the results. Notice how the frequency oscillates up and down as the speaker swings back and forth. This is the Doppler effect. Students can use screen capture or data sharing in the app to record their observations.